hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be making some jamaican style curry goat come with me back to my roots to experience some authentic jamaican flavors so keep on watching for the full recipe so first we're going to start off with our fresh ingredients i have some fresh grated ginger i have one chopped habanero pepper green onions i had some minced garlic some onions and some bell peppers as well as some fresh thyme in a bowl i have my goat washed and pat dried so it's time to season i added my garlic powder onion powder and then i went in with some paprika maggie all-purpose seasoning and some black pepper and salt Even though I'll be adding my chopped habanero peppers, I went in with some red pepper flakes. I also added my grated ginger, my chopped garlic, and my chopped green onions. I now added my sliced habanero peppers, my sliced bell peppers, and my sliced onions, and added some olive oil to have that seasoning stick to my goat. I then went in with my curry powder, which is essential in curry goat. Then I added my pimentos. You do not want to be heavy handed because you don't want a lot of pimentos and added my fresh thyme. And we are going to mix that all together until our goat is nice and fully coated. The longer your goat marinade, the more flavorful it will be. So you always have the option of doing this overnight. So this is my marinated goat and I will be browning that in my pressure cooker. So first I'll be adding some oil, then I will be burning my curry. As my grandma say, if you don't burn the curry, somebody belly's gonna run. So we have to burn our curry. Burning our curry also brings out more of the curry flavor. So once that is done, we're gonna add our goat to our pressure cooker and start our browning process. So you want to remove your goat from the seasoning or from the onions and stuff it was marinated in and just brown your goat only. I browned it in portions so I didn't add all my goat at once. So once one batch is done then I'll remove it from my pressure cooker and brown the second batch. Once all our goat is browned, we're gonna add everything to our pressure cooker, and then we're gonna add all that seasoning that it was marinated in on top. We're then gonna add water to the bowl we had our goat marinated in, because that has so much flavor. You wanna cover your goat completely with water and mix that all together, and then we'll be adding some more seasoning. To our pressure cooker, we're gonna add some Maggie all-purpose seasoning, some onion powder, some paprika, and then we'll be adding some garlic powder and mix that all together. So once everything is incorporated, we are going to pressure cook our goat for 30 minutes. While our goat is in the pressure cooker, we'll be prepping our vegetables that we'll be using later on. I use three potatoes because I love potatoes in my curry goat. I love my curry goat with a lot of potatoes. You do not have to use three. You can use two or one, any amount. It's your preference. As you can see, I slice my potatoes in large chunks because as you constantly stir your goat, the potatoes will break apart and I need potatoes to be left. So I use large chunks. I use two peeled carrots and I will be slicing them diagonal. Now 
Once our 30 minutes is up, we release the steam from our pressure cooker and this is how my goat looks. I'll be removing my goat from my pressure cooker and adding it to my Dutch pot. I'll be using my Dutch pot to finish cooking my goat. So I added my vegetables, which is the potato we just sliced and the carrots we just sliced. We're gonna stir our vegetables in our goat and have that cook until our potatoes are tender. So this is my goat after the potatoes are done cooked and look how rich that looks. Look at my meat, just glossy and nice. Look at how rich that curry is. Listen, if your goat does not look like this, you did something wrong. You have the wrong ingredients and you need to try this recipe. Look at how good my goat looks. Just look at it. So our goat is now ready to serve. So this is how my goat looks. I served it with some white rice and some shredded raw vegetables and if your goat does not look like you just walked in a nine night, you did something wrong. So if you like this video and you want to try my recipe because your recipe is just not working or you just want to try it for the first time, please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for the support.